What's going on everybody? Floopy Donkey here and it's been almost a month and a half since I put out my latest next gen slider. So these sliders again are for next gen consoles only and this is for all Madden or all pro. Now I have my base gameplay settings set as simulation, 13 minute play quarter with a 20 minute or I'm sorry a 20 second runoff on the accelerated game clock. But these are the few things that have changed. You'll notice that some things haven't but some things have and they've been actually quite drastic in some of the categories. So first up, quarterback accuracy on player skill is exactly the same, along with pass blocking. Wide receiver catching, run blocking are all the same when it comes to the user settings. Now remember, player skill only controls your team, all right? It doesn't control the AI on your team. It controls your team entirely. Whether you're not controlling that player or not, these player skills are for your team. I've got a lot of questions about that here recently, so I just wanted to kind of elaborate on that and make sure that you guys know so that if you want to adjust them, you make the right corrections. One of the things that I did was actually decrease the fumbles down to 45 to make sure that they happen more often. In my previous video, I had them at 55, and I had that wrong. But 45 is where you want to be. Now on pass defense reaction time, I actually increased this by five. And I think that this gives a more realistic feel to the game. So when your players make a break on the ball, they'll respond quickly and quote unquote accurately to the ball and either make a swat or interception. Now I did decrease the amount of interceptions because I felt like the players were intercepting the ball just a little bit too much. So I just decreased that slightly from 42 to 40. I actually left pass coverage completely where it was at. I thought that was in a really great place. And the same with tackling, it's at 60. Now, when we go to CPU skill, now this is the AI-controlled team, the team that you don't control. So if you're doing a simulation, if you're doing CPU versus CPU, these are the sliders that you want to adjust. The quarterback accuracy, I dropped it by two to help out a little bit with quarterbacks completing too much passes. I, I was getting quarterbacks that were kind of getting around in the 70th uh, completion percentage a lot of the time. And I really wanted to see that hover anywhere from low to mid 60s, I felt like was a really good and uh, realistic number, obviously there. Pass blocking, I increased quite a bit from 43 to 69. I mean, 69 is a great number, right? But on top of that, I felt like this helped out with the quarterback getting sacked a lot. It'll make the pass rush a little bit more realistic so that you're not constantly creating pressure on the quarterback and forcing him just to hold it and take a sack. I was getting a little bit too many sacks in my simulations. This will help out with that. I decreased wide receiver catching by one just to help out again with the accuracy problems that the quarterback has. So drop passes will obviously help out with quarterback completion percentage. I've actually moved run blocking up by 10 to 56. Obviously this helps out with the run game. I felt like running or stopping the run for defense was very easy. So I wanted to give the uh, AI, the computer, a little bit more of a chance to break open some runs, pick up some first downs, because I was getting a lot of two, three, four yard carries, but I wasn't getting a lot of um, big open runs, especially with me playing with the Panthers. The linebacking core is not one of the best, so they should be able, running backs and linemen should be able to get up in the secondary and create holes. And I felt like with this, that was happening. For fumbles, I actually decreased Increase this to 45 just like in player skills so that you actually have some fumbles uh happening in the game again i had him at 55 which is counterintuitive what i was trying to do and then here is where i've made a few more of my changes i may pass defense reaction time i actually increased that to from 26 to 33 so seven uh points up and you might say oh my god oh, well you know you're trying to prevent your uh, the computer or man to doing that weird Madden glide and intercepting the ball, but with interceptions moved down from 13 to, or I'm sorry, from 15 to 13, um, and pass coverage moved down from 56 to 53 now, I feel like this is in a really, really good place. You're able to make mistakes. I am getting a lot of uh, good reactions to CPU controlled defenders where they're swatting the ball away. If they try to make an interception, a lot of times it's broken up by the wide receiver or they just don't catch it. But if you obviously just, you know, throw it straight to the defender, they're going to intercept it. And with these sliders, what we get is a good break on the ball by the computer, but they don't automatically intercept the ball, which is really great. Tackling is left at 70. All right, so for special teams, I actually increased field goal power. One of the things that I realized is that the computer, when they kick the ball, they don't try to max out their kick meter like we always do. They usually keep it in the range. So to help get them, you know, an extra two or three or four or five yards of kicking power, 
I actually increased the kicking power for the computer. But what I did to offset it for us was actually decrease the accuracy to 47. Now this is what it was at before, but this seems to be a really good happy medium. If you've watched any of my playthroughs on my Panther franchise, you will notice that I have a lot of missed kicks by the CPU once a field goal gets past 50 yards. And that is what we want. That's when, you know, you tend to miss a lot of field goals in the NFL. Same thing for punt power. I moved that up to two. I left punk accuracy the same and I kick off power was also increased as well for the same reason for the field goal power. A few changes in game options. Injuries is still left the same. I think Madden does a really good job with the injuries this year. Fatigue, I did bump that up from 60 to 63 and I left minimum player speed threshold at 45. I made a whole video about that. Check that out. I think that my speed threshold is perfect. And last but not least, here's the penalties. Now I bumped these up considerably from my last video. They were, I think these were at 70s, low 60s. I have offsides at 90, false start at 90, holding at 99, and I'm not having uh, reoccurring penalties happen spontaneously. Uh, I'm actually starting to see some offside and false start finally when I've got the sliders all the way up to 90. I'm not seeing very many holding calls at all. Uh, face mask is here or there. I have uh, increased defensive pass interference to 99, and I still do not see pass uh, interference called. And the last thing I did was I actually decreased illegal block in the back from 52 to 50 because illegal block in the back was just happening way too often. I think 50 is that median happy spot. Unfortunately, it seems like on that slider, if I move it up even to 51, it'll start calling illegal block in the backs all the time. And I uh, left everything else the same, guys. I really think these sliders are awesome. Unless Madden changes anything, I think you'll be able to run these uh, in your player versus CPU franchises. If you're playing player versus player franchise, online, connected franchises, you're obviously just going to want to use the player skill sliders. If you're doing a CPU versus CPU franchise where you're actually watching them play or you're simulating, then you're going to want to use your CPU skill sliders. But I hope everybody enjoys this. If you do enjoy them, make sure hit the like down below and I'll catch everybody later. Peace out.